sinful nature things. The Apostle Barnabas talks about that in his writings, in the Epistle of Barnabas. How the, the different food prohibitions actually represent different na sin natures. That all those things were nailed to the cross of Christ. We need to understand that the civil and ceremonial rules and regulations of the Old Covenant were nailed to the cross. But the righteous requirements of the law were not. Right. All those are fulfilled as we walk in love with God and our fellow man. Amen. As, we, as we choose not to steal from God or our fellow man. That's why we tithe because the tithe belongs to God. And, and the Bible says let no, that him who stole steal no more. Well, a man rob God. You can't rob somebody if you don't belong to him. That's right. Right? Amen. If somebody robs you, they're taking something that belongs to you, right? So in Malachi, he said, well, a man rob God. And they said, where have we robbed him? He said, in tithes and offerings. So those belong to God. Now, God said if we will give to God what belongs to him, then he will bless us. Yes. Yes. He'll, pour, he'll, he'll rebuke the devourer for our sake so that the curse won't be on us. Yes, I want to walk in the blessing and not the curse. Amen. How about you? Amen. Yeah. Well, we got a choice of whether we need to do it or not, you know. God doesn't make you do it, but we got a choice to do it. We can walk in the blessing and favor of God or we cannot. I'd rather walk in the blessing and favor of God. Right. Why? Because then God strengthens me. He helps me. Yeah. He, he, he really is a strong God. He's mighty. He's mighty to deliver. Yeah. He's mighty to save. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Turn me to Proverbs chapter 8. Thank you, Father. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 17. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 17. It's right after Psalms. That's in the Old Testament. Thank you, Lord. I love them that love me. And he said, God loves everybody. Well, Jesus died for everybody. And Jesus says, greater love hath no man than this, and a man to lay down his life for his friends. He said, you are my friends if you do whatever I say. And so Jesus died for everybody, but God loves those who love him. And those who seek me early shall find me. Those who seek me early shall find me. Say seek. seek. You see, we've got to seek God. We don't have to, but if we want to, we want to walk in the blessing and favor of God, we've got to seek God, and yes. he'll be found of us. Amen. That's if we'll right. seek God early, we'll find God. Riches and honor are with me. You mean, if we seek God early, he'll be found of us, and he'll give us riches and honor? Well, that's what he says in the Bible. So I have to believe it's true. Riches and honor are with me. Yea, durable. Say durable. durable. Riches and righteousness. Say righteousness. The Apostle, bon the Apostle John said in 1 John, he said, let no man deceive you with vain words. Let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness, say doeth righteousness, is righteous even as he is righteous. But he that sinneth is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose was the Son of Man manifest, that he might destroy the works of the devil. You see, Jesus came to destroy the power of sin in people's lives. That's right. We can walk in the blessings and favor yes. of God and be set free, or we can choose to follow the devil yes. and walk after sin, evil things. God wants us to choose righteousness, to choose what's right. For Jesus took our infirmities and he bore our sickness. By his stripes we were healed. And Jesus bare our sins in his own body on the tree so we could be dead to sin. Paul said in Romans chapter 6, he said, Reckon ye yourselves therefore indeed to be dead to sin, but alive unto God through Christ Jesus. Yes. At the end of the chapter, he said, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. It's yes. always been that way. Amen. Still that way today. It was that way under the old covenant. It's that way under the new covenant. We're still in the new covenant. Amen. God never, ever has changed. He never, ever will change. Because he is the Lord. He cannot change. That's one thing about God. We can count on God because he cannot change. He cannot lie. When God says a thing, that's it. That's why Abraham could believe God so much. That when God told him to sacrifice his son and can't kill him on an altar, that he said, I'll do that. But this was intention. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 11, it says that Abraham knew that since he told him it would be your Abraham, his seed would be or descendants would be. 
He knew that if he killed him according to God's word, if he killed him on the altar and sacrificed him and burned him to ashes, he knew that God would raise him from the dead. That's in faith now. He knew. Why? Because he knew it's impossible for God to lie. See, there are certain things God can't do. God can't lie and nothing he can't change. If he's done something for one person, he'll do it for everybody under the same circumstances. That's why we can look and the Bible says these things were written for our admonition so we can know the nature of God. So when we see God doing the same thing in a certain way, then we can do this in the exact same situation. We can do a thing in the exact same way and we can have the exact same results because God never changes. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He, he never ever has changed and never ever will. He'll be that way until, until eternity, until we get into eternity. How to be. He's always merciful. He's always gracious. He's always good. Amen. My fruit is better than gold, yea, than fine gold, and my revenue than choice silver. I lead the way of the righteous and in the midst of the path of judgment, that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance, say substance. And I will fill their treasures. God wants to pour out blessings to us, folks. He wants to, to bless us abundantly. The Bible says God takes pleasure in the prosperity of his people. Now, most people that have the love of money, they're not really seeking God that much. They're seeking the world's ways. We need to just seek God. We need to seek after God's ways and do things. God, You see, the world says, keep all you can and don't give away much. The Bible says, spread abroad and you will increase. I think God's way is the best way. Absolutely. God's smart. Thank you, Lord. He's pretty smart. There's actually a scripture that says, There is that holdeth back more than want or more than you should, and it comes of poverty. He said, But there is that that spreadeth abroad, and it comes of increase. Hallelujah. I want to increase. I want to follow God's direction. He, he knows the best way for me to follow God, for me to increase, and for me to be blessed in life. I want to be blessed, not just in finances, but I want to be blessed in my life. Amen. I want to have joy. I want to have peace. I want to be able to walk in love. Thank you, Lord. I don't want to be under a burden because I don't, I want to, don't want to be depressed. I want to have the joy of the Lord because the joy of the Lord is my strength. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. If I do things God's way, I'll have good success. Praise your Father. Thank you, Lord. Glory. Turn with me to uh, Jeremiah. This stuff's all through the Bible. Jeremiah chapter 29. Jeremiah was a prophet of God. Hallelujah. Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. 